Today, I'll be unboxing a $100 comic book mystery box from Chris the Comic Vet. Stick around. DJ Lynx is in the building. Before we continue on, make sure you head on over to thecomicshell.com and pick up your comic shell. It is the ultimate carrying case for your raw and slab comics. It fits about 20 raw books or two slabs comfortably. This is the only carrying case that you'll catch me at a con with. Head on over to thecomicshell.com and use code LINKSQUAD for 10% off your order. What's going on everybody? It's your boy DJ Links back in the building, back DJ in effect, Links. and back with another video. And today, another comic book mystery box. This time, a $100 comic book mystery box from my guy, Chris the Comic Vet. Chris the Comic Vet put together this round of mystery boxes. I think there were 15 in total, with five of the 15 being golden ticket boxes. The rest being regular mystery boxes, but everything was on the up and up. Promise that all the mystery boxes will be over value. He was aiming for a 100, and I think it said 170 or $175 return value on his boxes. A couple of people opened them up and they were pretty good. Rob Fat Sacks of Comics opened one up. So did E-Man from E-Man's World of Geek. I am gonna open mine, so yeah, let's go. And we're back and surprise, we hit a golden ticket box. So I have a note here. It says, congratulations, you received a golden ticket comic army mystery box. Inside this box is an incredible slab comic. I sincerely hope it finds a home in your personal collection or that you can use it in another way to find another slab to bring home, AKA sell it. In addition to the slab, I put a few retailer packs in the box for you to have some fun with. The packs are DC packs from Walmart. Thank you so much for supporting the very first edition of mystery boxes I've ever curated. Sign, Chris the comic vet, hand signature there. That is a pretty nice touch. It's funny, and I'll be completely honest with you, whenever I hit a GP, in my mind, I'm just like, I should be extremely happy, but automatically my mind goes to people saying, oh, he only got the GP because he's on YouTube and he opens up these boxes and blah, blah, blah. That's why I tend to not open mystery boxes right away when I get them. I got this one, like I want to say two weeks ago, just so that they could be a space in there. I don't want people thinking that I'm part of the marketing for these boxes. I am not. So yeah, it's, I, I'm supposed to be happy, but in my mind, that's what I'm thinking. Like some hater is gonna be like, oh, there he goes again, cause he's on YouTube. He got a golden ticket box. Whatever, man, it is what it is. I, I thought I had a sticker here from the comic vet. Um, oh, here it goes. It, it blended into everything. So this is the Chris the Comic Vet sticker. Boom, there we go. And then some mystery packs. These are not gonna go toward the value. I'll be honest, uh, <laughs> Catwoman mask. I'll give these away on In The Mix or something. I am not a fan of the DC packs. I'll just put that there. So we got our slab and then we got one raw book and this is Supergirl, Woman of Tomorrow, which each box came with this. This is one of those spec books because of James Gunn's DCU. They are making the Supergirl, Woman of Tomorrow movie. Uh, this will count toward the value of the box, even though it says free bonus there, but I knew this came with all the boxes. Supergirl Woman of Tomorrow, fantastic story. I read it twice on the first read through. I didn't really like it that much or I didn't get it. It took me a second read through and I was just like, wow, this is fantastic. So I highly recommend you go out and read Supergirl Woman of Tomorrow, which is pretty dope. And then now I guess the GP, you see it first because this is the old CGC slab, Daredevil 181. The Death of Electra, classic, classic cover right there. That is pretty, pretty dope. Got the Frank Miller story and cover, Frank Miller and Klaus Johnson art. Met Klaus Johnson at King Con a few weeks ago. Dope, Daredevil 181, White Pages, Death of Electra, Bullseye, and Kingpin appearance. This is pretty cool for the price point. Obviously, we got our money back and our value. It says on the back here, this was last sold $210. And I think that's where this book in a newer CGC label sits at. In the old label, you have to take that into account. So it's not gonna be a $200 book that's gonna be, you know, drop down a couple of dollars. And then if I wanted to keep this book, obviously I'll have to send it out to get reholder. So that kind of takes the enjoyment down a, a notch, but for the price point, getting this book completely knocks it out the park. Will this book stay in the PC? I don't know. I'm not a fan of the old CGC label. So if it were to stay in the PC, I would have to reinvest in a holder. But if I were to sell it, I would still have to reinvest in a holder so I can get maximum value for this comic book because I don't think there's a big desire for the old CGC label. Overall, it's still a fantastic slab and I am over the moon with this box as far as value but let's see what that total value is when we factor in the slab and the Supergirl Woman of Tomorrow book. 
And that's gonna do it for me, ladies and gentlemen. As always, subscribe, like, hit that notification bell, share this video, tell your friends about me, consider joining the Link Squad, and as always, most importantly, spread love, because that's the Brooklyn way. Peace.